Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. This is going to be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These messages will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Um, so if it doesn't resonate today, that's okay. It just wasn't meant to be your reading, but you can check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can be more accurate. Spirit, please. Messages for Gemini in regards to love. Spirit, what do you have for mess for Gemini? What messages do you have in regards to love? I have combined two oracle decks here, the Enchanted Map Oracle cards and the Energy Oracle cards. And full disclosure, I have taken out some cards from here to make this a more manageable deck. Um, I really love the two decks together, so I thought I would just take out any cards that might not be as clear or have something to do with romance. Just want to let you guys know that. Time is fluid, so this could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. And roles can be reversed. All right, Gemini, let's see what we have. Messages for Gemini, please, Spirit, in regards to love. I keep getting this card, Mountain. I've gotten it for, I think, two other signs. This is all about obstacles. Climbing a mountain, right? Overcoming an obstacle. There could be an obstacle in your relationship or an obstacle that you need to overcome. Carrying connections, this is a beautiful card. It's very Two of Cups energy. What else for my Geminis? Flying, I love this energy. Flying is all about soaring to a new height so that you can see things from a different angle because you're high up, you know? Love this energy. All right, so let's see what the tarot has to say. Right away, I think there's an obstacle or a challenge um, that you've had to either overcome or have overcome here. With carrying connections, I'm getting there is a connection that is important to you or could be. Spirit, messages for Gemini in regards to love. Messages for Gemini, please, in regards to love. A huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, shared my videos, or left me a comment. I really appreciate it and I read all of your comments. I've been trying to respond to as many as possible, but that's becoming a little difficult, but just know that I read them all and I really appreciate your support. This is just for Gemini, please. Regards to love. All right, Gemini. Let's see what we have. This is just for Gemini. Six of Cups, interesting, starting off with the Six of Cups. This could be a reunion of someone from your past. Okay, we got Five of Cups, Four of Wands that came out there. Hmm. I feel like this is a very, almost like a past life connection here or a soulmate type of love or just someone from your past that wants the four of wands but the five of cups is telling me that there's regret or loss here sadness what else do you have for gemini in regards to love queen of pentacles stability is what i'm getting here i'm also thinking marriage long-term commitment here with the four of wands Queen of Pentacles. So why the Five of Cups? And remember, we have Mountain up at the that came out first. So there's definitely this isn't an easy road here with whatever situation I'm seeing here. I am going to clarify with another deck. Eight of Pentacles. Effort. Time working on something what else do you have for gemini in regards to love i'm gonna get one more card let's see if it works out for the other readings i've done like i get so many cards and i've just kind of given up and taken them but for some reason i just want one card i'm gonna wait until it feels right what else do you have for gemini 
Oh, that one flew out. The magician. Beautiful. Okay, so right away what I'm seeing is some of you have been either thinking about your past or what didn't work out. You really want something stable, something committed, something real. I feel like you're willing to take take the time and make the effort. Um, you want this to be an equal effort, an equal give and take here. Um, I feel like you're someone who gives a lot. Queen of Pentacles is very generous. And then the Magician, this is something that you've manifested. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Commit, again, with commitment, long, binding commitment is what I'm getting here. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with or someone with Taurus in your chart. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn because I have Queen of Pentacles here. But let's clarify and see because I really do feel with caring connections and with the Six of Cups, like you know this person. I'm not getting that this is somebody new. Spirit, help me clarify for Gemini. Messages regarding love for Gemini. Hmm. Messages regarding love for Gemini. I feel like you're seeing something differently with flying there. With the flying oracle card. Almost like you've learned from your past or have had a recent realization about something. Maybe the way you've handled past relationships, the way you've approached relationships, something. I feel like with the Five of Cups and the fact that it's touching the Six of Cups, it could be dealing with someone from your past. Spirit, messages for Gemini, please. February 22nd to the 29th. All right, Gemini, what is the Six of Cups about? Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups here for Gemini. Nope, that doesn't feel right. There you go. There you are, Gemini, Queen of Swords. I feel like you've built a tough exterior. You're almost, I don't want to say, I want to say you're a very hurt Hurt. How do I put this? You're in protection mode with your heart because you've been hurt before. Um, you're not afraid to use that sword. You're very clear and direct. It's almost like you want people to come at you correctly when it comes to love here. Whether this is with an ex or with a, someone that's like a past life connection. Tell me more about the Six of, of Cups, please. Queen of Swords, she is... Tough on the outside, soft on the inside. She's sensitive, but she doesn't show it. Seven of Swords just popped out. That's why you've been you've been taken advantage of in the past. I feel like a past connection was not was not the best, or it could also be that someone that is very connected to you is trying to find the best way to approach you because you're so tough to crack. What I'm thinking, High Priestess under the deck, definitely. Um, this person might think you're not going to accept them with the Five of Cups here. Tell me more about the Six of Cups, please, for Gemini. Spirit, tell me more about the Six of Cups. I'm already getting the sense that this is not going to be a very easy reading, um, which I'm okay with, but. Thank you. King of Wands. Okay, there's passion here. There's action. Someone wants to take action here. Someone either wants to get to the bottom of the Seven of Swords energy. Someone wants to strategize how to approach a past life connection or soulmate or someone from the past. Some of you are not going to be open to an offer from the past is also what I'm getting here. But let's clarify some more and see. King of Wands wants it all, though. I got that Ten of Cups under the deck. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Whoa, whoa, that is way too many. Tell me about the Five of Cups for Gemini. What's this all about? What's this Five of Cups energy? Thank you. Anything else? Please, Spirit, for Five of Cups for Gemini. This is sadness. Looking at what... Basically just focusing on 
what hasn't worked out, regret, loss here. There's been a loss also. Whoa. I'm going to take the Queen of Pentacles upright. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Very interesting. I'm getting the sense that this Queen of Pentacles has been juggling things on her own. Also, kind of like she cannot make up her mind is what I'm getting to, which is not very typical. Um, I mean, I feel with Geminis, we're able to juggle a lot. And I say we because I'm also a Gemini and a Gemini Venus. <laughs> Gemini Sun and Gemini Venus. So I, I feel like we're able to juggle a lot. We can we can go back and forth really quickly on things. You know, the, the dual side of us, right? Queen of Pentacles, she's generous. I feel like you've been stable financially, but there's something missing is also what I'm getting here. It's like you, you can give and you can give, but you're not getting anything in return is what I'm getting here as well. And that's made you very sad, dejected. I feel like you're losing hope, Gemini. For others of you, there's someone juggling you and another person, and that's that's not... That's not working out. <laughs> I feel like something has to, one of these has to drop, right? With the two of pentacles. There has to be a choice made. Bottom of the deck, I have the full reverse, which is crazy because I don't do reversals. Oh my God, 10 of swords, what is going on? Wow, I have reversals in this deck. Okay, sorry, I'm just, I don't usually, I feel like I accidentally put these in reverse. So this to me is a message with Ten of Swords reverse, ten, uh, Fool reverse. This is overcoming something, not ending something with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And with the Fool reverse, this is something not new. You could be connecting with someone from your past. Let me flip those over. Interesting. You could be giving this person a chance. Someone could be approaching you from your past here. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Sorry, that was just... I don't usually have reversals in my decks. So I think I accidentally put those in there. But I'm going to take that message. I feel it's important. Tell me about the Four of Wands for Gemini. Whoa. Judgment and Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands did come out while I was shuffling. Judgment is all about the resurrection of something, the awakening of something. A judgment call. I feel like you're resisting this awakening or making this judgment call. Again, you're in protection mode, Gemini. I feel like also for some of you, you're not gonna accept any BS other than stability and long-term is what I'm getting there too. I also feel like the divine is stepping in here to deliver a message. I'm getting that strongly too. I have Queen of Pentacles twice, bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Definitely I'm thinking this is either someone from the past or someone that's a very caring connection, right? Past life connection, soulmate type of connection here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, but I'm not getting that you guys are completely open to this. I mean, that's not what this spread is telling me. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. About the Queen of Pentacles, please. Ace of Pentacles, an offer being made, commitment. Someone wants something long term here, something binding. Tell me more about the Queen of. That was sloppy. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Gemini? Whoa. I'm going to take all of these, even though. Too many. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. There is going to be a reunion. Someone's going to rush in to make you an offer, a long-term offer. This is no joke. This is like marriage, kids, house, everything with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Gemini. Someone definitely wants to offer you something stable. The real deal here. But I have four of cups under the deck. Again, I'm getting this energy that you're not you're not excited about this offer. You're not seeing this offer come in. Um, maybe that's the obstacle that you maybe from the get go, you're not very open to this or there's an obstacle that has to be overcome first. Right. Tell me about the Sorry. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. But you're manifesting something here. I can't wait to clarify that. What you want to manifest. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Thank you. Ace of Wands. You're working on something new here. A new start for yourself. You've been focused on this. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, please. And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're, you're, okay, this is very interesting. The devil just came out with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here. I feel like you're thinking of a way out of a situation, a way out of an uh, unhealthy attachment. You want something new here. You're working on this, on something new. I'm getting out of this energy here. Page of Pentacles under the deck, so definitely someone, it's like almost like there's something new here, even though this is with a past life connection or an ex. Tell me about the Magician. Tell me about the Magician for Gemini. There's a Magician here. I also am getting from that Flying card, it's like you're going to be on Cloud Nine. Hmm. Just got that very strongly. Thank you. Yeah, you're manifesting walking away from something, walking towards your Nine of Cups. Tell me more about the Magician. Tell me more about the Magician, please. Spirit. Thank you. Whoa. I'm gonna take all these. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Gemini, are you kidding me? The Lovers, the Fool, and the Ace of Cups? Are you kidding me? I could not make this up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's you, Gemini, the lovers. The fool again, but this time upright. And the ace of cups. That is beautiful. This this is new love, a new connection. You walked away from something. You walked you overcame an obstacle. You made something happen for yourself. And has brought you new love. Wow. This is beautiful. I have um, Gemini, Aries, Capricorn energy here. Earth signs are here. I definitely feel like a lot. Okay, I'm just going to say it, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you have to let go of a past connection that left you brokenhearted i feel like a lot of you and now i'm seeing this very like clearly here with the two of pentacles and the five of cups i feel like a lot of you have been going back and forth back and forth on the emotions that you have connected to this past person almost like you've been in limbo mode right focusing on what didn't work with someone and it's like you need to manifest a new beginning for yourself and to do that you have to walk towards your nine of cups and you won't regret it I mean, look at this. You will not regret it. I am so happy for you, Gemini. Ten of Wands under the deck. Definitely letting go of this burden. Something that has weighed you down for what I feel is a long time. I feel like a caring connection is on its way to you. For sure. And it's, it's really exciting. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. What an awesome reading. Thank you so much if you um, have subscribed or liked or commented to my channel recently. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you like what I do. 
Uh, check out your other signs if this did not resonate with you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.